early accurate diagnosis is key. I think it has a great deal of importance, not just in the short term, but in the long term. Starting in the short term, just getting a correct diagnosis and the relief for the child and the relief for the family is enormous. You'll also reduce the healthcare burden because the families once diagnosed accurately and appropriately, they'll stop visiting the doctors and stop the inappropriate use of anti-reflux drugs, anti-stay down formulas, all these kinds of formulas and medications that don't simply work because they're not treating the underlying problem. Late diagnosis or misdiagnosis of cow's milk protein allergy will have consequences. The first one can be that a child who is food aversive can become more progressively aversive. There will be entrenched behaviours around fear of eating and that becomes very problematic for the families. So those are some of the sort of mid-term consequences. The second one is weight loss. A late diagnosis often can have an impact on both the child's weight in terms of food aversion, but also can have an impact on the parental interactions and the bonding with this child because this has been an unhappy and unwell child for a long time. It's also about height impacts because a constant inflamed gut will impact on the height of the child as well as the weight of the child. Those long-term impacts may also be for many years to come along something that we call the allergic march. Eczema, hay fever, asthma. Therefore, it's not just about important symptom control at the beginning because it's having a huge life impact on the families, but also in prevention of long-term disease.